Although it is fantastic to have the ability to hire the best people available anywhere in the world, hiring for a remote team does present its own set of extraordinary obstacles. And because there are now more businesses competing to hire from the same pool of highly skilled talent, it is essential to make sure that the hiring process your company utilizes is enjoyable and engaging. With this in mind, HelpScout has provided the following list of seven outstanding recommendations for small businesses that operate remotely. Let's see what companies can do to achieve great remote hiring. First and foremost, determine what you're looking for. Before looking for your next job, ensure everyone on the hiring team understands what you're looking for. When positions aren't clearly defined or encompass too many areas of responsibility, you'll quickly discover that your ideal candidate doesn't exist. It is critical to understand why you need to fill this role now, what the responsibilities are, and what success looks like. For instance, you can create a job description that will tempt you to apply. This is your moment to properly sell the opportunity and pique someone's interest in your career and your firm. Include information about the type of impact this individual will be able to make, a description of the function, and some information about the ideal applicant profile. Then, put together a hiring team to get the task done. Because hiring requires time and effort, you can rotate team members based on who is available, who has hiring expertise, and who is eager to participate. In addition, everyone who interviews candidates should go through in-house interviewer training. It would be best to know how to conduct an effective interview, listen for solid responses, reduce unconscious bias, and produce valuable feedback. You can build a hiring process doc template each time you open a new role and help the hiring team stay on the same page. The recruiter maintains this document in coordination with the recruiting manager and includes anything from a to-do list. You are now prepared to create a hiring project. Hiring managers will be responsible for developing the project in consultation with the hiring team, and all projects should be relevant to what candidates would perform daily in the role. It is critical to set clear goals and instructions, identify deliverables, and be aware of time constraints. To accomplish this, the hiring team works on the questions they intend to ask before any scheduled interviews. At this stage, you can create a bank of questions to ask and update and add to it as you go. Also, ensure that you are asking behavioral interview questions or questions that allow candidates to rely on prior experiences to gauge their potential for success in this post. Once you get most of your ducks in a row, a recruiter will set up a call to get you in sync with the team. Next, make the job public and advertise it. Once everyone in your team agrees with their roles in the process, you are ready to publish and start promoting your work. There are many job boards available today. Therefore, it is essential to have a solid understanding of your industry and the locations where the individuals you are interested in congregate. Websites like we Work Remotely, Remote.io, People First Jobs and Power to Fly are some of the job boards that can be used. However, some of the most effective promotion comes from teammates who use social media platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter to publicize and share vacant opportunities. Therefore, you should urge your team to assist you in this endeavor. After identify potential applicants. Whether you are publishing your job opening, some top applicants are not even seeking actively. Therefore, you must make the first step. It is important to note that many online positions lack diversity in terms of gender and ethnicity. Therefore, you should aim your approaches to diversity and inclusion. You will be more successful when concentrating on hiring outstanding talent from underrepresented groups. The next step is to decide which prospects would make a good addition. It is the responsibility of the recruiters to monitor the applicant queues frequently and ensure that a human being evaluates every application. Therefore, every person applying for a position should receive some notification. Recruiters look over candidates' resumes, but more crucially, they read the candidates' responses to the short answer questions we asked for every vacant position. This helps them identify prospects with excellent writing abilities and communicate beliefs compatible with our culture and business. Initially, candidates appear to be a good fit for your organization and advance to the interview stage. You can provide a comprehensive overview of the steps involved in the recruiting process so there are no surprises for potential applicants. There are a few roles, such as design and product manager, in which the order of the phases could be different because it makes more sense. 
For instance, the first step of the design and product management roles involves a project in which the candidate demonstrates something from their portfolio. The first thing that needs to be done is to process a video conversation that lasts 45 minutes with the hiring manager. A candidate's future boss is the one with whom they should make the most favorable initial impression. Therefore, the primary purpose of these chats is to determine whether or not the candidate would be an excellent asset to your team in the capacity to add value. Candidates can move on to a more technical conversation with two current members of that team, where they dig into juicy questions about how candidates problem solve and what tools are in their toolkits. If everything is aligned in the value add chat, candidates can move on to the more technical conversation. The next step is a brief logistics chat with the recruiter when a candidate is given the go-ahead following the first two chats. During this chat, the candidate and the recruiter discuss the candidate's anticipated salary, the timeline for the position, and the benefits of working at your organization. If things are still looking positive at this point, the next step is to have candidates participate in a relevant project that provides them with the opportunity to demonstrate their talents. You can build scorecards for projects that evaluate several aspects of the project and finally give a final score for each candidate. Every applicant who hands in a project receives verbal and written comments on the work that they have turned in. The final interview is the last phase that candidates must go through before the references are checked and an offer is made. This interview might take place with a member of the leadership team or a player from one of the other teams who will work closely with this function. This not only allows us to observe how the applicant reacts to criticism, but also provides insight into what it might be like to collaborate with that individual. If a candidate has made it to this point, regardless of the role, you can feel pretty confident about them, and we will use this conversation to address any questions that may still be outstanding. While progressing in the interview process, you have the option of asking them for references and inquiring about their two most recent supervisors. Sometimes a person quits their job because they had a negative experience with management or a team. Other times, it's just because they have a significant difference of opinion. And still other instances, an employee may have been a victim in a hostile work environment. There is much discussion on whether or not references are essential. This is because references are frequently individuals that the candidate chooses to say beautiful things about. We treat the reference call more as a method to gain advice on how to help the new hire be successful at Help Scout which should be your primary goal going into the conversation. The most important piece of advice that can be given in this regard is to talk to your references by phone or Zoom. If you ask references to respond to your inquiries by email, you are missing out on a significant amount of strong background. When a candidate is asked for references, it indicates that they have performed very well during the hiring process and that the hiring team is pleased with the opportunity to work with them. The hiring manager receives permission to make a verbal offer to the candidate once the last interview has taken place and references have been checked out successfully. There are times when two candidates make it to the final step. After completing those interviews, the recruiting staff will confer with one another, review the results of the candidate evaluations, and then arrive at a conclusion regarding who should be hired. If you find two equally qualified individuals for the position, you can look into the potential of hiring both of them. And if that doesn't work out, you should keep the other candidate in mind in case there's another opening in the future. When it comes to a marathon, the final stage can feel like the last mile. It is appropriate to make job offers via video chat whenever that option is available. Hence, the hiring manager will email the finalist in the competition and inquire as to whether or not they have a few minutes to connect on some excellent news. Following the conclusion of that meeting, the official offer letter will be sent out in addition to an email that provides a description of the offer and the advantages of working for your organization. Then sit back and wait for the electronic signature. Now you can congratulate yourself on a fantastic new hire. If you are interested in acquiring this software, you can get an exclusive price just by clicking on the link in the description below. So why wait? Incorporate this software to your online business. Try Help Scout now. Also, check out our playlist specific to our recommended industry-leading software providers by visiting the following videos on the right side of your screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more interesting deals like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.